Hi, and welcome to the show. Again, we thank God that you can view the show, whether you're in your kitchen, whether you're in your bedroom, or even in your living room or den. We're excited because we're thanking God uh, after we survived Katrina and uh, Hurricane Isaac and all those other hurricanes that have been coming our way. We thank God that God has been continually sending the, the volunteers to come and help not only uh, to rebuild and restore our communities, but just to come and pray for us and, and, and not forget us as, as some uh, some have already forgotten. I always mention it's important for you to, uh, if you have friends or family, relatives, or just visitors, make sure you take them to the Lord Night War. Let them see the devastation, but also let them see the restoration on how uh, that part of the, uh, the city is coming back up. Uh, again, there's so much that we can do, and we, we're celebrating this month. is a very important month to celebrate. Uh, we have, a, uh, thank God for our co-host, we, we, we have a co-host that knows what's taking place, and he's going to tell us. But he comes in the person of uh, uh, Pastor uh, Daryl Smith, also DK Smith, 940 AM on your radio dial, and he does something like this. Oh, between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., I'll take you home in style with a smile. So what will you have for us? Okay, thank you. When you mention that, I might as well say, because since I am the um, co-chairperson of the Marlin Neighborhood Association, don't forget Uptown, too. You know, In fact, we've got some things coming up. Um, in our next meeting, we'll have our uh, Contrell. She'll be at a meeting and everything. But I do want to let everyone know that since you said this month, this is um, Women's Health Month and Women's History Month, too, as well. So uh, hats off to the ladies. Okay. Amen? Okay. We also have a couple of announcements. Uh, speaking of that, remind you that um, the Red Umbrella March will be taking place, and that's going to be on tomorrow, uh, well, Saturday, March the 9th, and they ask that you come. It's presented by the Red Hap um, the TCTT Project as well as SWAG, which stands for Sensational Women and Girls. Got the SWAG? Well, come show it off by taking advantage of the free Zumble classes, and then they have a Red Umbrella second line. Uh, prizes, empowerment speakers, health screenings, and all this again is Saturday, March the 9th at Armstrong, Congo, Armstrong Parks, Congo Square. Uh, registration is 9 a.m. and the event is at 10 a.m. And so if they need more information, uh, they can call 568-7474. And we thank God for our guests on last week who shared, us, shared with us about the... Um, Red Umbrella March. Also let everyone know that the outreach ministry of the First Pilgrim Baptist Church located at 1228 Arch Street where the Reverend Eugene Mitchell is the pastor, they'll have their Day of Common Unity uh, community. It's going to be on the same Saturday, March the 9th from 12 noon to 2 p.m. and that's on the front grounds of the church. It's absolutely one of my favorite words. Free? Free! That's oh, right. Uh, what's the other word? Uh, food. Uh, <laughs> Free food good. goes together with me. They have clothing, food, water, housing services, and much more. Street sweepers will be evangelizing, evangelizing the area during the event, and the entire community is invited to join. And they can call the church at 944-0504 for more information. Again, that's at the First Pilgrims Baptist Church, 1228 Arch Street. We'll have some more announcements in the second half. W what's the time? It starts from what, 9 to 12? It's from, no, it's from 12 to 2 p.m. Okay, okay. 12 noon to 2 p.m. Right. While I'm talking and my mouth is all moving, <laughs> let me introduce our guests. Uh, this is, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves, but uh, there's a, an event happening on this Sunday, uh, March the 10th, and it's an event, it's a world movie premiere, and it's called The Good Life, and we have a couple of the cast members of The Good Life, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves, themselves starting from one, my far left, my far right, all the way down. Hi. Hello. Hey. Um, happy to be here. My name is Salam. Uh, right over here at New Orleans. I'm Jonathan Saraparu. I'm also a cast member, part of the Good Life movie. My name is Janelle Flugens, also a cast member in the upcoming movie, The Good Life. All right. Young people. <laughs> you get the first question. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Oh, I get the first question. Well, guess what? I got questions already prepared. <laughs> so, so we say it like that because somebody said, ooh, maybe you might have to get some questions together and everything. Well, speaking of that, let me just say, uh, what inspired you or what inspired the making of this movie, The Good Life? Well, I would say um, 
you know, we know that there's a, a problem in our society today. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's a lot of young people that need direction and as well as adults. And uh, it really inspires us to make a movie right here with a message, with a positive message. And, uh, you know, just talking to people okay, about what really is the good life and trying to portray that what we know and love to be uh, a life that is filled with, 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 with the things uh, that, that are profitable towards, uh, towards a young person today, so. So, so as cast members, tell the role that you play, your, your, your cast name, and, and give us a little, just a brief, you know, bio of, of, of what you're going to do on the show. Well, um, I don't know if you looked at the little flyer, but I'm um, one of the ladies on there, and you see you have your main character, and I'm actually Sasha, that's my character's name, and she's kind of, she's a mysterious woman, um, she does have a darker side to her, so you kind of you'll kind of see that throughout the movie. I can't give away too much, Don't but give away there is it. there is some mystique <laughs> to her, and she does play a pivotal role in the in the movie. So, my my my, my ca uh, cast member's uh, name is uh, I play a guy named Kevin, and I'm actually the star of the movie. His name is Mikey Hamilton. I'm actually play his little brother, and uh, in the movie, you know, I see him living the good life. I mean, having all these nice cars and these yachts and different things like that. And I really desire that life. And uh, uh, that's kind of me and him have a, a great relationship. And he kind of wants me to be who I am, and but not really want his life. Uh, but uh, I kind of get into that. And there's some choices that need to be made uh, so I can have a better life. Mm. And I actually play um, the role of Alicia in the movie who is actually Mikey's girlfriend, his love interest. Um, after a series of events in his life, he wants to make a um, positive change. And we see that at first, it's catalyst. the catalyst is him finding a new love, you know, new love interest. And that's kind of the positive in his life. She kind of encourages him to do good. But we see Mikey take tw make decisions that affect his life. and. Mm -hmm. We take twists and turns with him, and ultimately he has to make a decision what really is the good life. So he's kind of torn between, you know, the good and the bad. The good <laughs> life. Yeah, the good life. Well, I was going to say, um, where did the concept for the movie derive from? Well, um, we've been doing a play. Uh, you know, Redbone Productions has been doing a play for, uh, it's funny to say this, but next year will be like the 20 year anniversary of a play. Y'all not that old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all been started when y'all were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a play, well I've been in it since a long time. These girls kind of came a little bit later. Uh, but a play called Will You Be Ready? Yeah. And, uh, we, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it, it started from a, it derived play. from a stage play. And uh, this movie actually, uh, well, let me backtrack a little bit. It went from a stage play and then uh, we decided to make it into a movie. We right. thought it was going to take a week, but it took five months. <laughs> so that premiered in 2010 and we took it to different colleges and it did well. Um, but then we got an idea, well, hey, we have some better equipment. Let's see if we can kind of redo it with a little bit of a twist. Yep. And uh, so we did that. And then we started to do the movie and the play at the same time. And we called it the Will You Be Ready 4D Experience. Yep. And so actually those scenes that we had were supposed to go in this movie. But uh, we said, no, let's just put all, them, uh, all our eggs in one basket here. And then let's start with a fresh concept, taking some of the same characters mm -hmm. and really having a little bit more character development. And that's where the good life came from. Hmm. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what's going to take place. Um, Ray Carpet. Mm -hmm. that, that's something. To look and tell us where. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Um, it's actually going to take place in New Orleans East, um, thirteen one twenty three I ten Service Road, City Church. I don't know if you pass it on your way to Slide Out, the big church with the Fleur de Lis graphic on it. Um, it's actually going to be transformed into Red Redbone Production Studios. Studio one eighty. Studio one eighty. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest studios in the New Orleans area, and it's even bigger that um, we're actually having a red carpet oh, yeah. pre premiere mm -hmm. there. So um, we just want everyone to come out, and um, we actually give New Orleanians first dibs in seeing the movie. Right. That's why we wanted yeah, here. Weird. All the actors are local from New Orleans, and um, we just want to see yeah. the East. It can, it, it, what happened is, is it's going to start at 7. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Give me a time. <laughs> but the, I, I should say the it's going to start at 6. The red carpet even <laughs> starts, starts at, at 6, 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the movie will you know, start at 7. Um, the tickets are $10 a piece. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's the, you know, that's really good. And if you want tickets, you can go to uh, yeah, the goodlifethemovie.com. Yeah, go 
And uh, the, make sure you put in the movie because we have to have that www.thegoodlifethemovie.com or you can call 504 246 5121 and get tickets for the event. What's the seating capacity? The seating capacity we can hold to up to 3,000 people. So um, we have a we, you know we have our main uh, our main uh, stage we're going to have the movie in it can hold like 20 or 100 but we have other places that we can hold more people to actually see the movie. So there's there's you know already confirmed about you know 20 about 3,000 people that are already be, be coming. Mm -hmm. So right. what you want to do is get there early, yes. right? As early as you can. And uh, there's going to be a line, you know, around the block. And, uh, but right. it's going to be a great event. The, the first ever premiere in yes. New Orleans East. Mm -hmm. right. You know, a lot of people, they kind of take their movie and they, they film it down here. But then they take it to New Orleans. They take it to they're California, Hollywood. other places yeah. to premiere it. Yeah. But, you know, there we know this being Hollywood South. New Orleans actors are in the movie. The star of the movie is from New Orleans. He graduated from Joseph S. Clark. Okay. And, um, you know, he, 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 he's born and raised here. I'm born and raised here. Right. Uh, we kind of adopted these two young ladies, you know, about seven, eight years ago. <laughs> so they're born and raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's from oh, California. Yeah, yeah. She's from Lafayette. I'm from Lafayette. Okay. And, uh, that's, that's close yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. event. Now, I always ask a question in, in, in any film media that, that should be a desired uh, intent for that movie as far as a target group. Is there a particular target group that you would like to uh, attract to the movie? Mm -hmm. so, well, we, we actually, I mean, we want to target everybody, really. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, um, you know, anything from youth to young adult to seasoned adult, I mean, I think everybody's going to be able to pick something up from this movie. And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of issues that go on in New Orleans, too, that are going to be touched on. So I think everybody's going to, it's going to strike a nerve, you know, for everybody. So it's pretty much a broad spectrum. I mean, anything from... 10 to, to 40, I mean, I think 10 that's... 10 to 40. Yeah, yeah. right. That's so so that's like a GP movie? Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's rated PG-13. Yes. Right. yes I, I mentioned that when I was talking about it on the radio and everything. Okay. Like, that's a, something we should know. Um, I was going to also ask, since, since I'm talking, <laughs> um, lo the locales, what locales that you, did you film in? Um, like, locations? You know, you know, yeah. I mean, locations. That's no, that's fine. The sites that we can say, oh, look, there's the so and so, there's the, la the landmarks. Yeah, yeah landmarks. you're giving yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> just just teasing. No, you know, it's like, okay. it's just, okay. just, just so I can okay. say, oh, they went in my neighborhood. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, I would say all over New Orleans, oh, right? right? And right. we also filmed a, a, a larger portion of the movie in Cancun, Mexico. Right. Okay. So right. we've been we've been downtown, uptown, French That's Quarter. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. We've been yeah. Night Wall. We've been You'll everywhere. Recognize. Yes. Yes. You'll yes. recognize rooftops, buildings. You know, right. we've been the You'll whole You'll recognize lot of the city pretty yes. easily. Yeah, no doubt. You yeah. said, man, that's where I live at that's right there. That's my city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. good, good. So, good. So, so some of them guys want to know when they did that when they was on their block. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Well, and how, okay, I know you said um, the, the other one took five months. How long did this one take to produce or to make? Well, I would say we filmed it for about... A year and a half? Yeah. So. Well, we, we, we yeah. did the, the, the film for about eight months, seven mm -hmm. or eight months, and mm -hmm. then obviously after yeah, that, that's yeah. post-production. Right. right. And uh, you always have to do, you know... Tweaking. Cut. Tweaking and Cut. different things right. like that. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you got to film something again or, you know, something, yeah. or you might have a voiceover or whatever, you know. But... Yeah, so it's been in the making. We started in January 4th, 2012. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's when we started. Okay. That's when we started. Okay. And where do you think this will go? I mean, I know that's a mm -hmm. good question. Well, think about that question. I mean, I just want you to think about mm -hmm. where do you, because in other words, like I said, people go to California, mm -hmm. you know, they, they make a movie and everything like that, but... Um, what do you want this to go? Hold that thought. Mm. Yeah, he, he's good at that because we're, uh, <laughs> we're about to go to break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about the cast, talking to the cast of The Good Life, and they're going to be telling us more about uh, what else they, they plan to do with their life uh, prospects are. And just stay tuned. We'll be right back. chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. 